Welcome back everyone. I bought myself a new Zebra Billy can. This is the smallest in the range, the 10 centimeter one. These are fantastic pieces of kit and they will pretty much last forever. The only downside for me is that they come with these little plastic clips. The plastic clips are absolutely fine if you're not going to use any heat with it. But as I'm going to use this with alcohol stoves, etc., I'm going to make some metal ones and I'm going to show you how to do it. I made these clips a couple of years ago for this bigger pot. They're a little bit on the high side, really. They don't stop the lid coming off, but they do assist very well with pouring. The tools I use are pretty basic because I need to measure, mark, cut, shape and file. I also use a vise which is really useful for this but if you don't have a vise just use a pair of pliers. Of course you can adapt your equipment depending on what you've got to hand. What I'm going to be using is two millimeter stainless steel rod. This stuff's used by people who make radio controlled cars, boats, airplanes etc and it's really good stuff. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure that I've got enough rod to go into the side and up over the top. So if I just place that in the hole, see if I can get you in there. There we are. Make a quick mark. And then we come up the side. Place them into the vise on the mark and then we get a piece of wood and then all we do is bend him down to a 90 degree angle if you do happen to over bend this it's not a problem just put him back in the vise and bend him back a little bit you then measure the width of your handle and transfer that onto the clip if you can't be bothered with that, just hold it up against there and make a mark. You need to make sure that you do this a little bit wider rather than narrower. If it's too narrow, it's not going to work. Once we placed him back in the vise, it's just then a case of getting our piece of wood and bending him down. We then turn him upside down and place him back in the vise. And then we just push away. And that gives our turnover of clip at the top. I actually almost made this one too short. So Allow yourself a little bit more next time. This one's going to be a bit tight, but he will go on there lovely when I finished. final step is just to put him in the vise and if you remember I made him a little bit wider than what I needed so what we do then we just crimp it together slightly This wasn't intended as a masterclass on making pot clips. There's better videos out there for that. Check out Simon a bloke in the woods. He's covered just about everything there is to cover on making these. I just wanted to show you today that you could easily knock these out with very little effort. 
and they're good and strong and they will last you as long as the pot lasts i'll leave a link in the description below if you're interested in where i purchased my billy can have a great day everybody info shout out mm -hmm.